Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to do part 11 of FlexPress using Adobe Flex. Now, I'm going to teach you today the most important thing you can learn in Flex when it comes to reusable components, and that's how to create a custom component. So let's review the project so far. Last time we used an item renderer to create a list box which contained an image, a title, and a date that it was modified. And now what we're going to do is turn that list box into a component. Let me show you what I'm talking about. The code for that was a list which enclosed an item renderer, which enclosed a component, which enclosed an H box, which enclosed the image and text and justified those horizontally. What we're going to do now is we're going to replace all of this code, the renderer code, with a custom component. Now to create a custom component, let's go to our Flex thumbnail project, go to SRC, a source folder, and right click and let's create a new folder. And we're going to call it components. And so now we have a components folder in our source folder, and we're going to create an MXML component. So right click on the components folder, go to new, and click on MXML component. And it gives us a choice of different components to choose. Let's choose a HBox since we're using that in our previous example. So we'll click on HBox. And we're going to call it my thumb component, C O M P. Not very creative, just a name. And remember, uh, before the width was 150 and the height was 50 because the height of our thumbnail was 50 pixels. And we're going to hit finish. And now we have this HBox component on our stage. And we're going to start programming that. Let's go back to our previous code. And in our previous code, we have an image and text item. Let's go ahead and copy that image and text item to our component. So go back to component code and go ahead and paste that in. And let's go back there. And what we're going to do now is actually, as we've said before, as we create a renderer, these H boxes and V boxes have a tendency to sprout or spring out these uh, scroll bars. So we're going to turn the scroll bars off here. I'm going to go ahead and do a return here so we can see the code a little bit better. And as we did before, we're going to go we're going to turn off the scroll bar vertical and horizontal policies so I'll go start with the code hitting vertical there it is scroll bar policy and set that off and same thing horizontal there's our scroll policy and let's turn that off and so that gets rid of our scroll bars and so we're doing pretty good with our component Let's go ahead and save that and see if there's any errors. And there's no errors there. So let's go back to our code, our Flex My Thumbnail project. So we have all this code right here we don't need anymore. And the only thing we actually need is the first uh, item, which is a list box item. Let's go ahead and copy that. And I'm not even going to need the closing tag anymore. So I'm going to come along here and let's space this out and bring this closing tag up so we can get rid of all of this and put the new code right here. There's my list tag and what I'm going to do here is go ahead and close it with a forward slash. There we go. And we've used that technique before and you understand it well. Now all this other code I could go ahead and just delete but I'm just going to keep it there as reference so you can go back and look at it so you can see what we've done in the past. Let's right click and go to source and go to toggle comment bar and that just comments it out so it won't be used in or picked up by the uh, code when it uh, compiles. And so now what we want to do is put an item renderer in here. What I'm going to do is go ahead and put a return bar in here so you can see a little bit more of the code better. So I'm in the uh, list component. I'm going to open this up a little bit. I'm going to put in an item renderer. I-T-E-M renderer. And there's my code in here. Let's click on that. And now the item renderer needs to be the full qualified name of the MXML component. What that means is we've got this thumb, we have this com components folder, which is the class package name. So we'll put in components. And then dot whatever the name of the MXML component is, which is my thumb 
component. And it has to be spelled correctly. And notice we're leaving off the MXML, and this is just the pattern in which it follows. And we're not using curly brackets either because we're actually instantiating this class. The curly brackets, the binomial expressions, are contained, if we go back to the thumbnail uh, component, are contained in the thumbnail itself. We can see that very easily when we go to design view. And here we see the curly brackets which bring in those uh, array collections. So let's go back. And let's go back to our Flex thumbnail project. And now we've brought our renderer in to our list. And let's go ahead and save, see if we have any errors. I don't see anything. And let's go ahead and run this and see if indeed we get the same thing. And there indeed is our list box with our image, our name, and our date. But now it's not being brought in through an inline component, it's being brought in from a custom component. Isn't that super cool? And we're going to use this technique over and over again. Short tutorial here, but very important. If you ever dealt with Flex2 and you were bringing in uh, XML components differently than array collections, you're going to find out if there's ever a reason to use array collections, it is this, the ability to make components. And we're going to use this extensively because these components are reusable over and over again.